Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share a low carb grocery shopping haul with you. I went and did a shop at Coles today and it's actually a smaller shop than normal but I'm trying to be a little more clever with the ingredients that I buy to make it last longer, be more budget friendly. So let's get straight into the haul. Let's start with the veggies here and I went for maximum flavour and minimal ingredients. It's kind of like a minimalistic shopping haul, grocery haul. So I've got garlic, add flavour to so many beautiful things. Um, and remember it's one gram of carb per clove. So yeah, I use it in my meals and just, yeah, count them. And I've got two avocados. They're not the nicest looking ones, but they were the best ones that I could find that weren't too squishy and soft and they were just right. So I'll have maybe half an avo or so a day that last a couple of days and then between the family as well. I've still got some avos. I bought heaps last week. So yay. Avocado and cauliflower are cheaper in price at the moment. So I got this whole mass of cauliflower. I might make my cauliflower casserole with some or mashed cauliflower or I've also sometimes for lunch been heating up some cauliflower up and doing some tuna. I didn't buy any today. I've got heaps in my cupboard. So I like to do did a little stock take before and realized I don't need tuna this week. So just got the cauliflower and a couple of cucumber, which I have from my cucumber every day. The kids love cucumber. So I always have to have cucumber. And this was the most, excuse the kids, Lego cards in the background. These were, this was the most budget friendly lettuce option. So I got this baby cauliflower lettuce two of them so that also I'll have for lunches maybe with my tuna or the cat herd tuna and he's come for a sniff um, <laughs> so we've got um, lettuce that was kind of all the veg as I said going for minimal that like cauliflower is going to go nice and far and I've got some frozen veg as well and some veg left over from last week uh, sorry putting the cat off the table um, he'll be back in a second you can just wait so those are all of my veg and now on to dairy cream and sour cream are always must-haves especially I've been making my cauliflower casserole heaps lately and it needs a half a cup of each of these so we've got cream and sour cream and cheese also needed for my cauli casserole um, it's just yeah look, a big bag of grated cheese and sometimes I'll make cheese tacos as well and in my cheese tacos I'll probably put some avocado and some sour cream and um, what I might actually do is put together a bit of a meal plan for the week using all these ingredients so if you're interested in seeing that I will leave a link down below to a meal plan for the week using all of these ingredients so you can kind of see how I put it all together so um, yeah check out down below for that in a blog post and still moving with the dairy some brie as well like a bit of brie on the side of whatever meal I'm having a little square um, my kids have heaps of brie as well um, butter, I'll cook most of my meals in butter. I also have my hot chocolates and probably use um, some butter, a teaspoon or so of butter in that. So that is that one. And my soft and creamy mascarpone. Um, I use mascarpone so much. I've been making my lemon mousse heaps late, lately and I needed mascarpone. Um, my auntie's actually given me heaps of lemons from her tree. So I have been enjoying my lemon mousse with mascarpone. Here comes the cat again. And onto the meaty section. We've got some mince. I might make some bunless burgers and use the lettuce leaves to <laughs> to have my as burger buns instead. Um, I've got two packs of sausages th for through the week. I actually haven't been eating eggs lately. You might notice the eggs are not in my haul today. Um, a few weeks I've gone without having eggs. I think I just overdid it on the eggs and I even shared a few weeks ago a video of um, a breakfast, a week of breakfast without eggs because I'm having loads of breakfast without eggs. So I've got mushroom, uh, mushrooms. I still have mushrooms left over from last week. So for breakfast I might make some mush, some um, <laughs> mushrooms with sausages for breakfast and some sour cream or some mayo or some sour cream or some cheese with it and also the salami for breakfast I often have a bit of salami um, again with my mushrooms and and some sour cream or a bit of cheese and finally a big shoulder roast I'm gonna make this for dinner tonight it's Sunday so I'm gonna make a big roast for dinner and then there's gonna be leftover meats for through the week and um, for lunches for snacks for all sorts so yeah that is a small grocery haul but from this and also what I've still got in my fridge from um, last week as well as in my pantry I'm gonna make pretty much a whole 
week of meals so remember check down below I'll put together a blog post with a week of meals using all of these ingredients so be sure to check that out and make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more yummy inspirations just like this and leave a like and a comment let me know what you'll be eating for meals this week give us some inspiration um, so thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again soon bye